So maybe it will last all the way. I'm done. I have one energy drink. Welcome happy campers. It's me Amanda here with Cookville RV and Marine on this beautiful day here in Cookville, Tennessee. And today we're taking an inside and outside look into this 2023 Keystone Cougar 32 BHS. But a small reminder, give this video a like. And if you're watching, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to see anything in particular, well, just let us know in the comments below. But we're going to start on the outside. One of the best parts about this floor plan is that we have no slides here on this side and double entrances. So whether you want to visit from the kitchen side or maybe even stop by in the restroom, you don't have to go through everyone's private spaces in order to get there. We also have lots of storage, but first let's talk about the outdoor kitchen. Check out this space. I love this outdoor kitchen. We've got plenty of countertop space that is just like the inside table. This is exactly like that. And we've got plenty of space to add our own organizations, whether it be spices or anything else. All around here, you've got shelving. We also have a nice size fridge for all the drinks that you wanna keep outside and even more storage up top with a light and a, its own switch and a sink. There's so much here, but I do like that it's actually on the outside of your awning and you have your door that's held up and it's not in the way of your awning and you don't have to worry about where that is in order to put your awning back up. So that's something good, but let's look at the storage. Here we are at the front pass-through storage. I love that the Cougar line has been adding in this sort of plasticky flooring. It looks like it's gonna be really durable, easy to clean and pretty much scratch resistant. We also on this side have satellite controls and extra light one of two and an outlet over here but on that side you've got your convenience bay so it's everything you need when you get to the campground including your battery disconnect some of those solar controls and that electric leveling system so that's all conveniently there for you and right next to all of your tools or anything else you need to keep with you but i think it's time to step inside here i am right inside of that front entrance and as you can see i'm coming right into the kitchen living space area but a few things right when we walk in of course safety measures but we also have nice big drawers here that will hold just about anything that you want to keep maybe really close to your door right now they're holding all of the manuals and such but let's talk about control panel so up these two stairs is when you get to your control panel i love that in command system it's super easy to use it's very touch friendly and it connects to your phone i would love to know more if any of the keystone owners are watching this and have the app Drop in the comments below, what's your favorite feature of that app? I would love to know more about it, but let's start this thing off with our living space. Our entertainment space is located so just about anyone in the room can view it. We've got a nice big TV, indoor outdoor speaker controls, as well as a DVD player. I really like the placement of those next to the door. And we even have one of those lovely fireplaces that change colors, and it's a great heater for when those cooler months roll around. We also have a lot of storage in this floor plan. So if you're a big board game family or just like carrying things to do as far as activities, maybe crafts or school from home, this would be a really good floor plan because you've got sort of your designated storage spot. But next to it is a really great place to relax. I love what's in this slide. Right now we have a pull out sofa option and a booth dinette, but I'm sure there's some different ordering options if you prefer something else. I like the color of this. It's a really deep seated couch, so it's pretty comfortable to sit in. Nice size slide. We have a dimmer on this slide as well. So if we're watching a movie, we can set that lighting perfect if it's a dark movie. And or we can open all these windows and enjoy the view. That would probably be what I would opt for. But let's look at the kitchen next. When you walked in, you may have noticed that we had that extra storage. We'll check out all of the countertop space that's above that area. We have a really good place for a coffee pot by the door. We even have an outlet right up here. We have lots of lights over here as well as a natural lighting window. And you got your sink that's in a really great position. Two squared off 50-50 split. And of course, I love the inserts are a little less heavy than the tile ones, but depends on what you wouldn't use it for, a cutting board or what. We also have a Furion stove here, a nice size oven. And of course, you have that outdoor kitchen to cook things in. So you can have something in the oven here and then be cooking your main dish outside with the family. That's what I've heard works the best. I don't know, what do you think? 
leave us a comment. But storage wise, you've got more than enough storage for big serving plates, dinner size plates, tall glasses and everything else you wanna bring. And our fridge is an RV fridge. This one is a Furion, but of course double check when you purchase yours. And it looks like a little extra storage up there and I would put dog food up there. There's always a place for dog food. Now this side of our living space is just reserved for doors most likely, but you have a lot of wall space and some really tall ceilings to enjoy. So whether you wanna put some lovely pictures of your family or you just wanna keep these doors open at all times, well, the bathroom, the second entrance and the bunk room are super close by, but let's start in the bathroom. This bathroom is pretty spacious. There's plenty of room when we get into our entryway here. We also have a shade on the window, but I like the lighting. We have extra places to hang up our towels as well as plenty of countertop space from our sink over here. A really large mirror here with a medicine cabinet behind it and the shower is tall people friendly. Check this out. Again, I'm about five foot 11, but I fit in this pretty well. We have places to put our soap, we have a removable shower head and a little bit of a tub action here, which I love that for dogs or even kids that you're bringing along. Of course, since this is a bunkhouse, we're gonna have the whole family here, but let's go check out that room. I like the headroom up here. This is a really nice size bunk. These are so soft mattresses as well. And I've never seen drawers be accessible from the top bunk, but that should come in handy, especially since we don't have any shelves up here we do have a really good tv spot that everyone in the room can enjoy as well as lots of storage if you want to do game consoles or just movies or whatever underneath me we've got a smaller bunk again everyone has their own lights in here and on the other side a really nice sofa that is like a happy jack style and above it a twin size bunk as well and there's a window behind there so we have two total in this room checks all the boxes for me but let's check out the primary bedroom before we go i did not see this i don't know why check out all this storage for your bunk room now this makes sense i was wondering where all the storage was but they give you a whole floor to ceiling closet that's pretty cool now to the bedroom in the bedroom we've got one large window as well as plenty of place to have like bedside tables we got a residential size queen here as well as storage all around. But on this wall, we have another slide of this floor plan, which is our wardrobe. I love that they give you plenty of places to put your clothes here. Mirrored front, a nice rod that goes all the way through and check out these built-in drawers. They go like a dream and there's three of them. So whoever needs to have extra space, they get to have the extra one, but this is not it. There's actually another door in this room that leads to. Now we have already one full restroom or bathroom in this camper floor plan, but they added in the half bath in the master bedroom. So you have your own private vanity, mirror, a little bit of storage, a vent fan, and a toilet. But showers are reserved for the main one that's more centrally located. What do you think about that? Drop it in the comments below. Is that a good thing for families or do the parents need their own space? So what do you think about this floor plan? Or if you have any questions, leave us a comment below or give us a call here at Cookville RV Marine. And don't forget to visit us online at cookvillerv.com where your adventure